executive as well as a network writer and film writer, so I've played both sides of this. So, and, and then I got involved about 10 years ago with digital media and have been living up in this area for the past several years, running companies in IPTV, digital media, mobile space. But I saw this need three, four years ago when I first created this concept for something to be TiVo-proof, be time is of the essence, be network-friendly, uh, something that could play online, on IPTV, on cable, <coughs> on demand, as well as push, you know, help uh, networks push viewers to different day parts. So if they saw something that teed up at 8 o'clock at night and they were introducing a new show at 9, they wanted the viewer to stick around. So with all those things in mind, I had created this, and I'll throw it out there to you. It's literally 60 seconds. Um, just to get your input on what it is. And hopefully we don't have any tech glitches here and we're good to go. It's time to play the world's fastest television game show. It's a 60 second game show. Someone watching right now is going to win this Honda Element filled with Domino's Pizza. Your chance to play and win is just seconds away. So in my creation of this, we're going to come back in a second, there would be a commercial It's the 60-second game back. show. I'll ask you one question, and you'll answer by calling 1-800-DOMINOS or by going to dominos.com. If you're right, you could win this Honda Element filled with Domino's Pizza. 10,000 runners-up also win Domino's Pizza. Ready? Here's your question. How many large Domino's deep dish pizzas are in the cargo area of this Honda Element? It's free to play. Call or log on now. Let's take a closer look at this Honda Element. The Honda Element has plenty of room for all the <laughs> including Domino's Pizza. Nothing tames an appetite like fresh, hot Domino's Pizza. Call or log on now. The player closest without going over wins the crowd and the pizzas. 10,000 runners-up also win Domino's Pizzas. Winners announced in one hour. Stay tuned for more chances to play and win on the 60-second game show. So there it is, mm. all right, so large pizzas, you got three different answers for three different time zones. For Honda, what's in it for me? Well, people have to get engaged in your product to win the prize. They have to go to your website or they have to go measure the inside of the Honda element. You can, we have hundreds, <coughs> literally hundreds of examples where it applies for any type of brand, any product, um, you know, how many radio shacks are there between Golden Gate Bridge and the, you know, the Statue of Liberty uh, if you take a certain path. And you can go and you can Google these things and find the facts that to get to the right answer. Um, how many Subway sandwiches does it take to line a football field? You know, how many how many foot long sandwiches? Whatever. You know, there, there's plenty of these uh, of these examples that we have. And really, the question that I pose to you is, what do you do with this product? You know. So when I went to networks, networks love this thing, and they go. This is, this is brilliant. you got to talk to my programming guys, right? And the, the ad sales guys, they're thinking this is the greatest thing in the world. This is, this is easy. It's going to be programming time. And it's something more for me to sell to the advertisers. And the programming guys hear this and they go, is that guy out of his mind? I'm not giving up my programming time. I have 22 minutes of show time. I write a script. It's 22 minutes long for a half hour. And... And, and that's it, I'm not gonna give up a minute of my time. Go back to the advertiser, ad sales team, and tell them to tell their advertisers they should be paying a premium and use this as their campaign. And then you get them both in the room, and the ad sales guys and the programming guys fight with each other, you know, and they say, no chance. I'm not telling my advertiser, who I already owe make goods to, um, to pay a premium, because your show wasn't as good as you promised them to be. We promised a 7.8 rating, we delivered a 4.4, we owe this guy, you know, 50 commercials based on our contract. So there's this, there's this conflict that exists there, and that hasn't quite gone away over the past couple of years. I haven't really brought it back to the networks, but I can still tell from friends who were there that there's this head in the sand mentality about how they deal with these issues. Um, but what I am hearing from the current job that I'm in is that Madison Avenue has poked its head out a little bit and has said, we realize that you know now it's uh, plus three. So your your Nielsen rating is what it is for the night plus three days later, and so to make up for the account of uh, TiVo and when people are watching it on time shifted television. But if they're looking, if there's an acknowledgement on their part that they're looking for something <clears throat> new, how do you go about taking this, wrapping it up, and who do you present it to? Do you just put it out there on a YouTube? Do you just go and take the chance and? 
fund it yourself. So I wanted to hear your thoughts on that. Yeah. Yeah, I think it would be a 